very much remember the first time I went to South Africa in, in the 1980s. A very different country, of course, a country still under apartheid. But the thing that, of course, for me as a biologist and a botanist particularly being there, was that I suddenly was plunged into this totally new flora, uh, most beautiful flowers all around me. But the interesting thing for me, looking back on that, is it whetted my appetite because I went in the autumn and not in the spring. In other words, our spring in April. But in South Africa, it's quite extraordinary because you have a, uh, another flowering in the autumn. So I saw a subset and every time since I've been in the spring, it's probably time I went in the autumn again, but the spring holds amazing riches. Uh, and every time I've been there, I've seen a different group of plants. Each time is going to be an excitement because there's something new, something new for me. And I really get thrilled by seeing things that I've read about, that I know exist and have never seen. And then suddenly you go round a bush and there under the next bush or in the next cleft of a rock is a species you think, it's a, and then everything, you know, the world just lightens because you've suddenly re re seen something that you've been enthused about in the past. I remember on the first time that I went to one of the places we visit, which is in the cedar boats, a Sevilla uh, rock art trail where there is sand bushmen art. And as I walked around, I suddenly, the ground was covered. It was bright yellow. And these flowers are about, imagine something five times the size of a buttercup covering the ground. And it was a magnificent lemon yellow tinged with green um, and is fantastic sight. But seeing something like that, I don't know what I'm going to find on the tours that I lead, this one for Ace. I don't know what I'm going to see. I have a good idea, but I'm going to find new things. It's going to excite me, and I hope it would excite everybody else. Um, and that is a different kind of experience again. And each time you go, you don't know what you're going to find. Because around the next bend, there may be a patch of land, a few acres in extent, just covered in flowers quite unexpected and quite magnificent.